Look at her! Oh my god! So this random, this is this random video that I found on the internet. Um, it is really typical of us Asians as a whole. I don't know who made it, but I freaking love this guy. Anyway, this is um short little clip is by Igaraptor. He's my favorite kind of animator, and yeah, I just find his humor hilarious. Uh, have a squiz. Hey, so Castlevania Four, Super Castlevania, Super Castlevania. So I did that sequel this episode of Castlevania One and Castlevania Two, and it was a hoot. But I wanted to make some mention of some stuff in Castlevania Four Super. Super cast. You see, Castlevania 4 gets a lot of praise from some of the gamer guys because it doesn't have a lot of the stupid RPG bullshit from Simon's Quest, and it tries really hard to bring back Castlevania to Castlevania 1. Super Chat! See, like in Castlevania 1, when you jump, you just kind of just commit it to a super weird jump arc for the next two seconds, and you can only whip forward, and it takes a while to whip, and for some people, this control scheme is unacceptable. Castlevania 4, on the other hand, made movement much more accessible. It's faster paced, and you can whip in whatever the fuck direction you want, up or down or diagonal, or you can jump and then control your mid-air velocity, and everything is just a little more freeform, so you don't gotta buy a fucking engagement ring for your jump arcs. But the question that I think is really important here isn't whether or not this is better than Castlevania 1 or 2, or whatever the fuck one comes between the second and fourth ones. The question is... How does this change Castlevania? This question is important because everything in Castlevania 1 was deliberate. The reason items exist is because your whip is so clunky and slow, and jumping is such a major pain in the fucking ass that maybe sometimes you just want to throw an axe. Maybe you just want to toss crosses around it. Oh, hopefully. Yeah. The items were essentially the meta in Castlevania. Knowing what's ahead and planning your items accordingly was really important, and as we know, that's what Castlevania was all about, being careful and planning things out. It was much easier to get through certain situations by being able to throw shit upwards in an arcing motion or throwing bottles of perfume at the ground to make shit smell nice. Basically, in Castlevania 1, whipping stuff was not an optimal solution to killing things, and it incentivized you to get better with the item. Castlevania 4 threw it out the fucking window! Whipping was all that mattered. It's fast, it's efficient, it's the strongest thing you have. Why the fuck do you even need the items? Like, check this shit out. In level 1-3, there are these goofy shrub seaweed whatevers that fall from the ceiling and crawl along the ground like a dumbass. You conveniently have the smelly perfume item you throw on the ground to attack them, but, oh wait, whipping them and ducking is equally as effective. Sorry, guys. Cool, man. In level 2-1, you get the axe early on that's clearly meant for the spiders that come down from the sky, but you can just whip diagonal up at them. Even the tiny spiders they shoot are in the perfect trajectory to fuck them up with one... In level 2-3, same deal, you have the axe when the waterfall is pushing you down, and it clearly wants you to kill all these bats and hands and whatever with the axes, but whip a good! In level 3-1, the game gives you the holy perfume to take out these splitting mud monster things. And since the flame it leaves lingers, it attacks them adequately. But you can just stand there and wail on them until they die, and it's actually a better fucking solution! In level 3-3, there are these skeleton, skeleton snake, snake dragon, dragon heads, heads from the wall. And you have the axe, so it makes sense to use it, right? But you can just get in from behind and whack it with the whip without any risk to die! Where the fucking item's even here?! Instead...
Okay. I think I did something weird. Fucking hell. <sighs> I give up. Thanks for watching.